Details right now in the search for a hit and run driver who killed an elderly woman and her dog. Today, investigators release new surveillance video of the car. CBS 4's Ted Scout is live in Davie Forest, where police and family will hold a news conference this afternoon. Ted? Yeah, Elliot, police and family are. No one has come forward with the information they need to find. You're looking at a picture enhanced by the Davie Police Department. Police believe this is the car that hit and killed 80 year old Emma Kelso and her dog Rondo on February 1st. The car and its driver took off. It happened at the Park City Mobile Home Park. Three weeks later, there is still no one in custody. Her family is devastated. You don't know what you Post. took from us, and you honestly will never know because you took away our family, you took away the glue that held us together, and she's gone now. Here at the park, Kelso's death hit the neighborhood very hard. Not only was she described as a great neighbor, the hit and run has people here taking extra precautions. It's kind of scared us. When the mocklers walk, they carry a flashlight to make sure drivers can see them. They wonder how someone who did this can bear the guilt of knowing they took a life and did nothing to help. It's sad that he, he did that, probably scared or I don't know, but it's, you can't even imagine someone that would leave leave someone there. The video police have of the car is from Kelso's own security system. She was hit and killed two doors down. This shows the car leaving. Witnesses told police it was a dark four-door sedan with a man in his 50s behind the wheel and a woman in the passenger seat.